All right, well, Ted and the athlete here, uh, as well as co-worker Aaron at the 2024 Alberta Hockey Hall of Fame Awards Gala, a really cool, unexpected interview. We're here with former NHLer, former Red Deer Rebel, 2001 Memorial Cup champion, Colby Armstrong. Colby, thanks so much for uh, pulling away from the celebration and uh, doing this. Yeah, you guys owe me, like not a big <laughs> deal, but it's good to be here. Yeah, it's awesome. I, I'm glad I'm back at Red Deer. I came back here, when was it, 2016 Memorial Cup? I was working for Sportsnet. And and we had a lot of our 2001 team that Brent had come in for that. Um, and I was working, so I'm a loser. I missed out on all the fun. I don't want to lose my voice when I'm on the air and staying out till 3 in the morning. Hanging out with the boys will tend to do that. So um, this this means, uh, you know, a lot to be back here just because it's Red Deer 1, but uh, the Hall of Fame and then just to see everybody. And obviously a huge honor for you to be on Red Deer's third most popular podcast. Yeah, yeah. You've been on a very... Yeah popular podcast many times so no, you're not going to be nervous but in all seriousness congratulations going into the Alberta Hockey Hall of Fame as a member of that 2000-2001 uh, Red Deer Rebels team uh, you already kind of mentioned what it was like to be back but uh, how does it feel to be you know uh, one of the biggest figures in uh, Red Deer sports and just Red Deer honestly because being that Memorial Cup team right still yeah. still to this day it means so much to so many people yeah and it just took for so long for us to get the Hall of Fame I'm always asking myself like what took so long we were awesome I mean <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, like 23 years later, finally, right? Uh, um, but no, it's it's special. I, I feel like the city's grown so much. Like there's so much more, like everywhere, neighborhoods. I drive uh, drove around the other day when I first came in, and I'm like, what the hell is going on here? Um, so it wasn't like as big of a city. I feel is this like smaller community. But um, being back here now is just yeah, it's 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 so cool to see the same faces and people that were there, people that worked at the damn rink that are here that I remember. <laughs> I had a mouth on me and I was swearing the penalty box all the time when I was in there yelling at people and uh, the penalty box guy was at our little event last night so he heard me say some pretty bad things <laughs> but now he can just turn around spit and chicklets and hear it all over you <laughs> yeah but it's uh, I think that's the best part uh, just seeing seeing people that you remember that you shared so many good times with um, so you mentioned back in 2016 you were here but you were working mm -hmm. um, after your playing career you went almost straight into media and you've been very successful with it is that something that you pictured yourself doing while you were playing um, or how did you kind of fall into that yeah good question I don't know I always enjoyed like just stuff like you got like this um, stuff that no one watches yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's the challenge you get people watching <laughs> yeah. but uh, like doing interviews and uh, you know, we had the local, t like starting in a community like this with like local news, as is junior hockey, um, you get to know the reporters pretty well. And, um, you know, I, it was something new. Like I thought it was like, I thought it was like in the NHL playing here, you know, it's like, it was, it was incredible. So to be able to like, I guess I was just kind of comfortable with it right away a little bit. And my mom had always encouraged me when I was done playing, like, maybe you should do this. You'd be good at this. And um, I was just mostly an idiot, but <laughs> that talked too much. Um, but it served me pretty well and I love hockey I watch like too many games I'm a loser like why am I watching like San Jose versus Anaheim at 2 o'clock in the morning <laughs> I'm like I don't know why but I watch it because I'm scared that I won't know what's going on um, but yeah it's been awesome I got to do radio like studio TV in, uh, interview people uh, on features and travel all over the place be in the dress rooms uh, call Penguins games for the last number of years uh, and then most recently last couple of years too doing podcasts with uh, like you guys with some buddies I started playing with in the American League that who knew that it would be what it is today um, pretty cool to join that so just like tons of different stuff and like I think finding myself and being comfortable on air because it's kind of not real life um, but it is but I think you, get, you do enough stuff and you find out like how you operate um, on camera and on air I think uh, it's taken me some time but it's it's been a lot of fun to be able to do that all right, well, well, we won't keep you too long because, as you know, well, you know better than anyone, playing junior hockey, really tough to get to. Winning the Memorial Cup, arguably one of the, the hardest. The hardest. Trophies. I know they say the it's Stanley the Cup. the hardest. But the Memorial <laughs> Cup is, is crazy what you have to go through. Playing in the NHL, really hard. Uh, as podcasters, we've discovered, though, there's something even harder. It's a little game, uh, well, for, I, I guess, basically copyright reasons. We call Gad Mabs. Gad Mabs. Gad Mabs. Uh, so we're going to challenge you here. You're like, you said you're a Memorial Cup champion, but can you be a Gad Mab 
champion. Is it like uh, school? <laughs> a little bit. I, went, I, played, involved. I played in the Western League. <laughs> <laughs> the Western League scholarship package. Here we go. Uh, so we're going to bring in co-worker Aaron. You're going to have a minute to read off right. some words in random order and, and say, um, basically try and figure out what the actual sentence is. They're usually pretty common phrases. Uh, and I'll tell you what, the, the athlete really struggled with this one. Yeah. So yeah. if you get more than zero, you're, you won't officially be the worst at guess. Okay. Okay, what's the record? What do I have to do? I think the record is like three. Three in a three minute. In a minute. So three in a minute? How many are we letting him pass? Two passes. Okay. Two, okay. For a Memorial Cup champion, you can have two passes. Okay. All right. Tell me when. Don weighs my time. Don weighs my time. Say it a little quicker. Don weighs my time. Almost got it. Don weighs my time. Don We're doing it right now. Yeah. Don weighs my time. My time? Yeah. Yeah. Don. Say the first part quick. Don weighs. <laughs> Don weighs my time. <laughs> you almost got it. Don weighs my time. Don't waste my time. Yes. Can I swear? Sorry. Yeah, yes. yeah. Oh, you're right. Let's go. <laughs> High dance eek. High dance eek. Yep. High dance eek. High. It's a game. With children. High. Hide and seek. Let's do. Toot hawk. <laughs> toot hawk. Two up. <laughs> <laughs> Weenie toot hawk. Weenie toot hawk. Weenie toot hawk. Give you a couple extra seconds because you're so close. We need toot hawk. What are we doing right now? We, we need to talk. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. It's right in front of my face. <laughs> my nose keeps getting in the way. God damn it. Well, you know what? You Did I, how long did that take? Did you oh, cut me off? Ten. I saw you going like this. Yeah. Okay, I'll take it. That's pretty good. Yeah, but you got overtime. Which was the Kevin could not get. Don't waste One my time. So you did pretty well. Look, a guy who can do it all, right? It's a, a <laughs> yeah. little, little humbling. Yeah. As a bro Go tell my wife that. <laughs> yeah. That's a, it's a tough one. Colby, we're gonna let you get back to the celebration. Thank you so much for taking the time to do this with a bunch of nobodies, <laughs> following us to a room, uh, very trusting me. And it's an honor to have you. Well, you guys have air conditioning up here, so yeah, thank you. Bad. Amazing. Good luck with everything, you guys. Your whole crew. Uh, fun to be back here. I'll have to send it to me. I'll have to watch it. All right. Tune in. Subscribe. You'll, all right, you'll follow our listeners. Let's right. go. Yep. All right. Well, this is a pretty incredible. Uh, two Calgary guys, Ted and uh, Kevin, the athlete here with two-time Olympic gold medalist, two-time Memorial Cup champion, Alberta Hockey Hall of Famer now, and Hockey Hall of Famer Jerome Ginla. Jerome, thank you so much for doing this. Uh, we really appreciate it. Oh, thanks for having me. And I guess, yeah, congratulations first off on uh, making your appearance on the Oh Dear podcast. I know a big, oh, no, <laughs> congratulations <laughs> on your induction into the, the 2024 Alberta Hockey Hall of Fame. Already a Hockey Hall of Famer, but how much does it mean to you to be able to, to again, with your Alberta roots, being from the Edmonton area playing in Calgary uh, you get to go right in the middle of Red Deer and uh, celebrate this with your friends and family yeah it, it was a really nice honor um, it's also going through it it brings back a ton of memories and it makes uh, it, you know you look back I look back on uh, minor hockey and uh, relive it and also how fortunate I was I, I I had a ton of fun in minor hockey I played with I had great coaches who helped me love the, you know love the game teammates we had so much fun we won some for provincial championships together uh, so it's really cool it was a really nice night to uh, also be able to share it with uh, my uh, family like you say my mom was here my dad was here my wife uh, uh, some buddies and stuff so it, it was a really nice honor and uh, proud to go in with the, the inductees that I got to go in with too. So this is just part of a pretty busy summer for you obviously um, what was it like going down to Vegas not only as a hockey dad but now working for an NHL team um, get into the draft and uh, just seeing what that experience was like. Yeah, it was it was awesome. I mean, it was nerve wracking, uh, not knowing uh, uh, the parent side. You know, once you get down and uh, once we sit in the uh, stands, and then you're like, I don't know what's going to happen, right? So it brings back a lot of memories. I remember my draft year; it was like the most nerve wracking thing ever. And so I'm sitting there putting myself in uh, teach position. But uh, thankfully, um, you know, it was. 
it went really well. He's thrilled about Utah, and, and we're very happy for him. And uh, it was exciting for us. And then on the other side of it, um, the first day, Connie, uh, you know, he said, you know, be a dad and, and take the time uh, with Tish. And then the next day, I was fortunate to get to be on the draft floor with them and and uh, go through some of the players and, and watch and, and be a part of it. So it was very fun, very exciting. I think uh, uh, we got some really good players in Calgary, some good up-and-comers, uh, young guys and talented and skilled and uh, uh, driven and uh, look forward to seeing them uh, progress. And so back in 2004, Kevin was pretty young. I was in grade <laughs> 10 and I went down to the Red Mile a couple of times and I saw some stuff I wouldn't normally have seen. So first of all, thank you and all the 2004 <laughs> Calgary Flames for that. But just watching well, what the run that the Edmonton Oilers just went on too, did that obviously bring up a, a lot of memories from that incredible run uh, way back in 2004? It did, it did. But I thought there was a little more style to the Red Mile the way it <laughs> yeah, went, oh yeah, uh, yeah. you know, the, than in Edmonton, but I'm a little biased. But yeah, it did. And uh, um, it, it was special. I know it, 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 at the end of it, it doesn't feel good not winning, but um, part of sports and being able to share that with the fans and stuff, it was, um, like I say, the Red Mile, it was so many people like you shouldn't have been down there. Way too yeah. young. And, <laughs> You know, it, uh, <laughs> I had a fake ID. It was no, fine. no, uh, no. As far as the cops, no. There's a statute on that, right? <laughs> but you're not a cop. No, okay, no, yeah, no. We're no. good. We're good. And uh, yeah, so the Red Mile, the Sea of Red, all the, and it was awesome being able to beat out the Canucks, you know, in, yeah. in, in seven games. And I talked about it today a little bit, but Detroit, they were an unbelievable team with, I couldn't tell you how many Hall of Famers, you know, it, it was, you know, Hall and, and Verbeek and Robitaille and Lidstrom and Iserman and Shanahan. And I know I'm missing some, you know, like off the top of my head. Uh, Osgood, uh, Verne, uh, I don't think uh, uh, Joseph was a goalie then. So, um, um, but just amazing, like, team. And we, we somehow beat them because Kipper stood on his head. Yeah. You know, literally stood on his head. And then we got San Jose and Marlowe and Thornton. So it was really, really cool. Obviously, we would have liked a different outcome. But it was an amazing journey. And I do th feel thankful that we got to be a part of it. And, um, yeah, it makes you hungry, though. Yeah, it br brings up some. But <laughs> I think they're slightly, you know, it, uh, I, I feel a lot worse the first time yeah. than well, the Oilers. <laughs> We're going to give you a chance at one more big win. Uh, we've started doing a thing for copyright reasons. We call them Gad Mabs, but they are Mad Gabs. Uh, Armstrong got three right in just over a minute. So I know you've already won one of the hardest trophies ever to win, the Memorial Cup twice, the gold, two gold medals. Uh, I don't know if that might pale in comparison to Gad Mabs. So co-worker Aaron is going to come in. She's going to show you a couple uh, just regular words put together very strangely. Read them out loud at a different pace, whatever you need to do to sound it out and let us know what this, the sentence is. So are, are you ready? Uh, okay, I don't know if I'm ready because I don't know if you've done a really, if I do well, then I'm ready. If not, yeah. you, did, you didn't do a good job of I have, explaining. I have final cut. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm ready. So just read it out loud a couple of a times. A piece of cheese? Yeah. Oh, that's what that would be yes. you're saying. Okay, yeah. I got one. It's a piece of cheese. I got yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. This first one's kind of a gimme. <laughs> no. Uh, hole in pig ends. Uh, uh, hole, wool, no. You've been there a few times. Oh, really? Yeah. Hole in pig ends. Uh, First two words together. Hole in Olympics? Yeah. Olympic Games. Oh, okay. Nailed it. Don weighs my... Or, um, Don weighs my dime. We're doing this right now to you. Uh, Don weighs my dime. Uh, Close. Just say it fast. Don weighs my dime. <laughs> no idea. All right. Well, what one is that? Don't waste my time. Oh, don't waste my time. Okay. Hi, Dan Seek. Uh, oh. As a dad, you would have paid, played this a lot. Uh, hi. Hi, Danzig, uh, Dance Electric. Uh, <laughs> uh, simpler, simpler okay. times. Hi, Danzig. Um, well, you're saying it. Yeah. That's sad. This is the end of the day. I'm yeah. tired. I, I, it's going to be it's after. I'm going to be like. one more than Kevin. Hi, Danzig. Um, well, you said it. It's a game. You can go around the corner. You got to come look for me. Oh, hide and seek. Uh -huh. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> oh, what's another one? Is there one more? One Keep more. All right. We got one more. We just don't want to waste your time. 
We need to talk. Yes. You think that's uh, that's you the one we just it. did it? You just yeah. said it. Talk to whatever that one was. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, say it all but, together quick again. We need to talk. <laughs> we need to talk. We need to talk. Uh, oh, I, I was thinking that hawk too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought Much that is more very PG. yeah Much yeah. More PG. <laughs> no, uh, so if your wife said this yeah. to you, you in a text, yeah. you'd be like, oh, oh no. yeah, it's very easy. <laughs> yeah. If, early in the day, we need to talk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I get it. Nailed now. it. <laughs> it, it has been, <laughs> Thank you for the help. Long day. Yeah, but, uh, Jerome, can I call you Jerome? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> That's pretty fucking cool. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for doing this. We appreciate it so much. Congratulations again on your Hall of Fame induction, the Alberta Hockey Hall of Fame. And uh, we're going to let you get back to your night. But, uh, yeah, thank you again. Hey, thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Oh, dear.